Okay. And, um, you know, that's not all. You know, Kim Jong-un's grandfather started North Korea specifically to keep Jesus out. Meaning he was himself was a believer and was trying to stop the end of the world. The gospel will be preached in all nations before the last day. After the atomic bomb, he started North Korea specifically to stop world destruction. Mm -hmm. Things are different when you get into the hearts and the reins. Okay, and just exactly right now, the actual river Euphrates is dwindling. And there are a whole bunch of people, Vladimir Putin. Oh, China! Prepare the way for the kings of the east. Right, okay. Or, what that means is that the impact that you get, the spiritualness that you get from the Bible, you no longer get. And you open yourselves up to other wisdom, which was about finding personal life balance and meditation and spiritual growth in that way. And it's not um, as confined to, incidentally, okay, they're, they're not actually different religions. Uh, as far as I know, um, the Eastern religions just don't, don't really have a judgment day. Uh, however, karma, that's not, if you do something bad, then you get punished by nature later. No, that is the exact same concept as, as you judge, so shall you be judged. So, if you are a young girl and you're looking around, and you're all 12 and you're nice and skinny and you see some fat woman and you say, oh, oh my God, she's so ugly. Then you say, you go through puberty, have a couple of bad boyfriends, eat too much ice cream, and suddenly you turn around in the mirror and you're that fat lady. Guess what? What do you feel? Do you feel like, okay. I suffered some shit, but I ain't dead. Not so bad. I can twerk better now. More comfortable on benches. No, you feel ugly. That's karma. They're not actually different religions. Okay. So. You can go for that, or we can get taken over by China. Because that's what they think those words mean, and they think that they're perfectly entitled. Even unto the pleasant land. Why are they sending so much fentanyl into the suburbs? Oh, the decadence. Oh, the pride. Surely it's evil Babylon, and not just that we're jealous. Gosh, maybe all those Christians and people who thought they weren't Christian, but have still heard lots of Jesus' words being spoken by Christian people out on the street, asked and received... And eventually, we got to a land flowing with milk and honey, which you can do anytime that you're ready to listen to Jesus. And that doesn't mean your other prophets are bad. It just means you can't hear God. <sighs> and also, Christians. You guys keep walking around still acting like, you know, you don't know where all this hostility is coming from. Like, you've never read history. Like, you don't know about the Catholic orphanages. Like, you don't know what we did to the Native Americans. 
like you don't know about slavery was you know it's better for a man to be a slave in christ than a free man as a heathen that we're actually doing them favors um overlooking all of that let's not even getting into marriage is something that god does they bought they sold they built it they married and were given in marriage all in the days of noah before the flood and yet here we are coming out of and the far right is way resisting and freaking out where women can actually display mating behaviors without getting labeled harlots and marched through town and stoned to death in the streets. What is the study of life? What is the tree of life? What is the fruit of the tree of life? Although we are above animals in our intellect and we have thumbs, we still are animals. We eat, we shit, we reproduce sexually, which is gross. Women's bodies are made the way that they're made for the function that they are to do. And men's bodies are made the way that they're made for the function that they are to do, which I could argue is not to dominate and boss around women, but to just do things for women that they can't, especially after they're going to be like having mobility problems for at least six to nine months after they have your baby. It makes it very difficult to get up and go hunt and gather enough food to feed yourself and also make breast milk. These are fruits from the tree of life. Now you must stretch forth your hand and eat the fruit of the tree of life or else you shall surely die. Okay, so why does Jesus then say to the woman, they all bring her, we found this woman sleeping with a married man. Should we stone her? And he turns his back on them as he does to those that work iniquity and says, let him among you who is without sin cast the first stone. Okay? So women enjoying sex is not any more of a sin than men enjoying sex. And yeah, hypothetically, if it goes back to the beginning, a woman will not only want to have sex with her husband and he's going to have to be nice more often. He can't just guilt trip her into staying faithful even though he's an asshole like we did for, you know, the entire 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, food for thought, everyone who think you got it all figured out. That is what Jesus said to do when you get there and you think you've got it all figured out. Think about it another way because you don't.